Hey, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today we're talking about the tracksmith, Elliot Runner. And yeah, uh, I can never not think of BT when I hear it. That's, Elliot is forever BT? Yeah, yeah. you stole it. Sorry, you did. Well, we can speak and spell this whole uh, little first impression yeah. of this shoe. Boy, man, people have really wanted to know about this shoe, but already there's hate for the oh, price. there's so much hate. Which isn't even that crazy of a price. I mean, it's the shoes these days are always $170 is enormous. It's almost it's about $200, but whatever. I found there was one dude on Instagram that kept commenting on it, and I went to look at his profile, and he has zero followers there. So he's like making up an account. Maybe he's a uh, to to just uh, bash it. Maybe he's like from a competing brand. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we're gonna see another one. It anyway, <laughs> let's get to the basics of this shoe. Yes, it kind of has a retro look to it. It's got a lot of really nice details. Yeah, people were, there's some comparisons we've seen out there. I thought it looked just like a classic shoe, like the Nike Kill Shot or something like that. Or people were saying Pegasus, but I don't know. Just maybe it, I mean, it has a nice classic yeah. uh, style that you say, and I do find that those shoes went along with that. What you're gonna find though is the details in this. Tracksmith really went the whole next they level. They really did go all out on this, because we, even the pictures that we got originally, you don't really see everything that went into this and there's a lot of very bespoke details in yeah here. i mean everything from the uh embroidery that's on the insole you've got yeah pull that out stitching so see that. and even even the p-backs on this i thought it was just a natural color but if you look on the bottom it's a white bottom so this is dyed here on the side to give you that old vintage look we've seen other shoes that use a substantial uh insole to create that cushioning. This has a very thick p backs insole and yeah, it which sits on top. I don't know if, I know of other p backs insoles. Like, Wouldn't it be Speedland? Yeah, but there's more of that's like just the midsole too. But then there's also, I think Puma actually has a shoe that's coming out with a P-Bax midsole, which is kind of, or insole, which is kind yeah. of wild. And even on this, uh, it, when you pull it out, you're gonna notice it's got the embroidery here but it's also got writing along here that gives you a little bit of information about like the spirituality of the shoe. So it gives you a little bit of like, almost like a poem uh, on there. Um, it's very tracksmithy, not gonna lie. Now, when we talked to Tracksmith originally, they said that the idea between the p backs insole paired with the p backs outsole was to give you that dual density layer that made you feel like you're running on like pine needles on the trail. You know, the trail's a little firmer, the pine needles soften it up. Now, what does it really feel like? I'll, I'll just say when I'm running in it, you do have a nice squish. The closest thing that it uh, reminds me of is the Nike Turbo. That's saying a lot, man. And by the way, I haven't uh, received my pair yet, so I can't attest to it. You're so eagerly is, awaiting. I'm, I think I would be losing my mind if I were you. I'm a little bit losing my mind. I just want to know. I want to know, like, what's, what's it feel like? But you. I mean, when you say that, that's amazing because obviously the Peg Turbo is a huge fan favorite that for some reason Nike stopped making. But, um, and I do have to, I, I'm going to put a caveat. Okay. I do have to try back on the Turbo. But if you remember the Turbo, it had the Zoom X and then a, a foam underneath of it. And this dual layer gives you kind of that feel, that bounce, that spring off the toe. So it does have a lively feel. I mean, that insole has to come into play to help that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mine came in at 10 ounces for a size 10 and a half. I do feel like it runs maybe a little bit long. It's not horrible, but maybe a little long. I kind of float between a 10 and 10 and a half. So if you float between a size, you might want to go the smaller size with it. Uh, the traction on the outsole is great. So I've done a treadmill run in it. I've done a street uh, mile in it. Okay. And it just felt good on both situations. If you like Tracksmith, and you like this, the details and the styling, is it worth the uh, 198? I would say, yeah. Yeah, and I think it's, is it sold out right now? It. I know they did pre-orders and it might be sold out, but if you saw the catalog that they're coming out, there's a black version also. Oh, yeah. So I have a feeling apparently, that it's Apparently J. In. Crew had a collab version that was navy blue too. Oh, so, I I it. Maybe yeah. that was a navy, maybe I'm thinking it was oh, black, but maybe. anyway, I do think you're gonna be able to get more versions of this shoe out there. Um, for a freshman shoe, like their first trial, I have to say I'm really impressed. Like a lot of times, you know, somebody comes out with one shoe or something like that and you're like, hmm, I don't know, this one, the looks are good, 
the feel is good. I mean, the it's definitely some premium quality. The details are all there. So that's, I mean, if you only just want a nice looking shoe, you can't go wrong right here. Yeah, and even this upper, like when you reach your uh, hand in there, the tongue is part of the second layer. So you have a light layer of material on top. Then the tongue is gusseted, but it's not just a gusset, it's that sock kind of like upper that goes in there. Heel yeah, counters nicely padded. This little stretchy pull tab here. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, so, so far, really enjoying this shoe. Obviously, we're gonna get more miles on it and let you know how it does, but I don't see it dying out that, that okay. quick. Uh, the materials feel sturdy, the shoe feels sturdy. I think it's a winner. All right, I guess we'll see. Uh, full review, hopefully coming soon. If you got your pre-order in, I think they're shipping mid-January, so you should be getting them soon as well. So we'll yeah, see. some people are already getting them. Yeah, so that's awesome. All right, do you think uh, you can catch this sucker before you hit that kitty litter? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might just spread it on the ground, let me dive in there. All right, ready to go? Are you getting the wire? I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Oh, nice! Always. New year, new me. New year, old me. Catching every shoe that's out there. 